Thank you very much. Forecasting our future now, the city of Greenville has new data on how new solar panels installed at David Helms Community Center have performed since last July. Duke Energy helped keep track of how much energy the panels have produced and how much the panels have helped reduce carbon emissions over the last nine months. Meteorologist Griffin Hardy is live now with a perspective on some of that new data. Griffin. Yeah, Nigel, these panels, there are about a hundred of them, and they were installed about nine months ago, last July. And yes, Duke Energy has been keeping track of how much energy these panels have produced. So in total, they produced 35 megawatt hours of energy. Now, to put that number in perspective, that's enough to power two and a half homes in the south for a year, an entire year's worth of energy for two and a half homes. Pretty crazy just from those panels alone. And also the carbon emissions are a big factor. It's not all about the costs. And they've also found that in total, these panels have helped reduce potentially 54,000 pounds of CO2 emissions over the past nine months as well. And to put that number into perspective, that's about the same amount of carbon emissions emitted by five Toyota Camrys in a year, or for you truck drivers out there, three V8 Ford F-150s worth. And the city is feeling pretty optimistic about how these panels have performed. Over the last nine months, we recognize that we've already saved more than we expected. We were hoping for around 4,000 in the first year. In the first nine months, we've already saved 4,400. And so while it's not a huge money-making endeavor, um, it's, it's frankly not just about the money. It's about reducing the carbon footprint. It's about being a good example in the community and having educational opportunities. And the city, the city told us that these panels cost around 90000 to uh, purchase and install. But again, they've saved 4400 over the past year in just those energy costs alone. So if you average that out, that would mean that over the next 15 to 20 years, those panels will essentially pay for themselves, which is good news because the, the average lifespan of most solar panels is around 25 years. Very good to hear. Reporting live in Greenville, meteorologist Griffin Hardy will send it back to you.